Yeah, for half time you must have been scratching your head and thinking is there some sort of force field around your position goal hit the post and another penalty safe yeah and and you know we, we uh to come back from that and to have the belief we did in the second half after that you know and after not just after that after what's come in the last couple of games you know hartlepool and portsmouth um the the attrition on their goals and with no reward um the boys must have thought is you know is there something on these goals is, is, there, is there a film a cling film or something on the on the whole goal but no um I think Volks has had a word to try and get the posts widened a little bit, but we have to stay within the regulations. But when it mattered, he popped up with a fantastic goal, you know, and that's what he's been signed for. Uh, he's a real leader. He's uh, he, could, he will lead these boys, and they'll follow. Um, you know, there was an overload for Bolton at times. You know, obviously tactically we, we see a, a lot of stuff, and uh, and you know, Jason McCarthy did an enormous amount of running to to almost cover two players today and then Anthony Taff and Jordan at the back there had to had to be stretched at a three on three um, and there were some worrying words you know and some worrying looks at times but uh, I said to him trust the system trust what we're trying to do here today because if we'd have gone defensive today we wouldn't have created as much as we did but we created we scored and we saw the game out really well Gareth McCleary coming back from fitness is a, is a huge plus for us um, I thought Anis had one of his best games for us he's learning all the little tricks now in football which is what I want him to do and, um, and like I say you know the big players today David Stockdale I thought was uh, was outstanding with some of the saves he made not, not major there's one one on one first half which yes he's got to do but their keeper had one as well um, but just you know, he sure it at the end there with uh, with coming out and making himself big. His feet were fantastic today. Um, and Sam Volks, you know, when it when it needed to be put in, it was a fantastic header. You know, back to his uh, Premier League days, I think that one. So really pleased. Great one 0 win for us, and uh, it's nice to put those two defeats to bed. You know, I've spoke to Rob Kuig in the week, um, and his backing was just awesome. You know, he allows me to get on with what I want to do without any pressure. Um, you know, I'm not saying he uh, he doesn't he doesn't uh, demand from me. Of course, you know he's he's put money into this club, and uh, but he's uh, he's great. Where you can calm my nerves sometimes, and that allows me to to pick the right formations, the right teams, the right tactics, and uh, and get the right result. Uh, you talked about Jason McCarthy. It was his cross there, and uh, <coughs> Wickham's cross and perhaps let them down a bit in the last two games. But today was really back on it. Yeah, I don't think just crossing. I think finishing like it's done in the last two games. You know, we've had some good opportunities and we, we just haven't capitalised on them. So um, Jason works hard on his crossing every day in training. He'll be out there um, doing his little bits, as they all will. They all, they all work on their little individual bits, and they are what matter. You know, in, in games when it's so tight. And Bolton came. Um, we knew the tight second half after what they went through midweek. Um, they're probably a little bit weaker than they have been. Um, but Ian's a good friend and, uh, and he'll have them going so for me this is a good scalp at home um, but these boys who practice day in day out these little bits that, that don't seem that important they'd rather do shooting you know, every day Jason's on his crossing Anthony's on his heading Taft's on his heading you know David Stockdale will do every training session like it's his last one all these things matter when it comes to a game like this because believe me we felt um, a little bit of, uh, of unjust and unjust and, and a little and a tiny little bit of pressure because we want to achieve this year we've got one of the best squads in the league I believe and uh, and I want these boys to stay around this top half of the table for as long as they possibly can you know right to the end of the season and see where we end up it's been a small sticky run but it's the first time you've had expectation really as a manager because Wickham are down from the championship a bit more money than you normally have how, how have you found that yeah I mean we've a bit more money than we usually have of course so like I've been backed we're still way down in, in the spending stakes in this league, I'm, I'm telling you now. But, but um, the chairman said top six this season. The chairman wants the top six, you know, and I want I want to deliver that to him, you know, and, and that's uh, that's important for me to, you know, to, to get the right to. I historically I don't need I don't need the top budgets to, to achieve. I, I, I never will, you know. But um, he's given me a competitive, more than competitive budget, you know. We're signing players. We signed a young Iraqi international before the game. Fantastic for this football club to be doing that. Um, and it all builds that pyramid to, the, to that top where the results count and, uh, and today that one really counted you know it, it was it, it looks now like a tiny sticky room but when you're in the when you're in the, the, the centre of the whirlwind you know it's five without a win and it's and it was you know where's it coming from How, what do we have to do you know you know you, your Burton game it was a development boys but it, it counts in your scores you know and your Hartlepool which is the FA Cup which we're never going to win Oh, I say that about this club. They got the same as once, didn't they? So, <laughs> but it, but again, that counts towards the uh, the run, the bad run that you're on. So, really, it was just Ipswich and Portsmouth, two teams that 
I think will be around the top of the league anyway. Um, but to get back on track today was really important and I can't thank the fans enough, um, all my backers enough and, uh, and the boys, they, they deserve that one today, they were fantastic. And the fireworks at the end as well, so you have to have a win really before they go off. Well it's nice this time of year because it's all dark all the time so that we can see them and uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know about that, I didn't expect it. Um, but I know Rob wants to make sure that the fans have a great time when they come into this place and if fireworks at the end after a win helps them come back, I'm all for it. Um, I was singing Christmas songs in the town centre Thursday night to try and get a few more fans in here and I think they were, you know, because their voices were better than mine was on Thursday today. It was a, it was a real Wickham performance, the town, the staff, the players, um, really, really good to get the 1-0 win. I understand you want to dedicate this win to someone as well. <laughs> I can't dedicate it, it's not my win, it's the players' win, but I just want to say happy birthday Scarlett, my uh, my 18 year old daughter yesterday and uh, she's come to the game today. I think uh, Matt Cecil was saying the image was flashing on the screen and uh, happy birthday from the gaffer. Um, <laughs> I didn't see it. I'm concentrating on the game, so I'll trust him on that one. But um, she was 18 yesterday. She might even join me with a beer tonight. But um, happy birthday, Scarlett. 